ancient door. Let the King of Kings take His rightful place. Make room, make way for the King of Grace. Oh yes, we make room for You, Lord. Come and inhabit the praises of Your people. The King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Lift up your hands, lift up your hands, open up your heart, open up your heart, his victory over sin, his victory over sin, and death is ours, and death is ours, let the King of Kings take his rightful place.
We welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Sunday, which is the Sunday for the 2020 Adult Harvest Thanksgiving. We pray that as we continue with this harvesting, the kingdom manifestation, the Lord will in his special way reveal himself anew to each and every one of us from one harvest to another. And at the end of the day, may he harvest us into that great kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. The land will yield its harvest and God, our God, will bless us. For as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, day and night shall never cease. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Those who sow bountifully will reap bountifully. So let each of us give as we propose in our hearts, not grudgingly or out of necessity, because God loves cheerful givers. Beloved people of God, as we approach our holy God, we realize that we have sinned and come short of his glory. Let us therefore humbly confess our sins to him, kneeling and saying together. O God, our righteous judge and merciful Father, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We acknowledge that we are responsible for our sinfulness. Have mercy upon us, we pray you, and forgive us by the love which you have shown towards us in Jesus Christ, who for our sakes died and rose again. Give us true repentance by the power of your Holy Spirit and enable us to forsake our evil ways and serve you in newness of life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Recognizing that God has forgiven us because Jesus, the Lamb of God, has died for us, let us adore him, say, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits upon the throne, and to the Lamb. Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. You have dealt with your servants, O Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord. Your word is a lamb to our feet. We shall take a short session of praise and worship. Let's be on our feet as the band leads us. You are the God who was, who is and is to come. Jesus, we worship you, Jesus. Jesus, and in you I trust, my life is in your hand, Jesus, Jesus, you are the miracle walking God, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, 
Papa, and Omega, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, and Omega, and you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, and you are Yahweh. And Omega, raise your voice, somebody say, You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Somebody give the Lord a clap this morning. Give me a clap this morning. Count your blessing, name them one by one. Count your blessing, see what God has done. Count your blessing, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has. Somebody count, count your blessing, name them one by one. Somebody say, count your blessing, see what God has done. Oh, count your blessing, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessing, name them one by one. Count your blessing, see what God has done. Count your blessing, name them one by one. I need to surprise you, what the Lord. Somebody please count, count your blessings, name them one. Clap your hands and give me praise. See what God. We give you praise. Count your blessings, name them one by one. I need to surprise you, what the Lord. Oh yeah. Joy overflow, joy overflow in my heart. You. Are you sure? Joy overflow, joy overflow. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Oh, I will praise your name. I will worship your name. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. It's a God in the Lord. Wait till I go give to you. Are you sure? Say. Wait till I go give to you. Say. 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 Let somebody shout hallelujah. Oh yeah, to the left, to the right, 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 to the left, to the right. You are God. You are not just ego. Let me hear you sing the song. You are not just like you. You are a great God. You are a great God. Come on, do you all say you? You are God, oh. You are God. We bless your name and say. We give you all the praise. We worship you. Big, 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 bigger. 
reading is taken from the Old Testament, the book of Deuteronomy 26, verses 1 to 11. And it shall be when you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving to you as an inheritance, and you possess it and dwell in it, that you shall take some of the first of all the produce of your ground which you shall bring from your land to the Lord your God is giving you and put it in a basket and go to the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide and you shall go to the one who is priest in those days and say to him I declare today to the Lord your God that I have come to the country which the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. Then the priest shall take the basket out of your hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. And you shall answer and say before the Lord your God, My father was a Syrian, about to perish, and he went down to Egypt and dwelt there. Few in number, and there he became a nation, great, mighty, and populous. But the Egyptians mistreated us, afflicted us, and laid hard bondage on us. Then we cried out to the Lord God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction and our labor and our oppression. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm, with great terror and with signs of wonders, signs and wonders, sorry. 
He has brought us to this place and has given us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And now, behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land which you, O Lord, have given me. Then you shall set it before the Lord your God and worship before the Lord your God. So you shall rejoice in every good thing which the Lord your God has given to you and your house. You and the Levite and the stranger who is amongst you. This is the word of God. Please turn. We shall take Psalm 6 to 7 and we shall read alternately. The 67 Psalm on page 7 of the program. God be merciful to us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. We'll take verse 7 together. The New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 6. 
But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he proposes in his heart, not grudgingly of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness while you are enriched in everything for all liberality which causes thanksgiving through us to god for the administration of this service not only supplies the needs of the saints but also is abounding through many thanksgivings to god while through the proof of this ministry they glorify god for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of christ and for your liberal sharing with them and all men and by their prayer for you who long for you because of the exceeding grace of god in you thanks be to god for his indescribable gift this is the word of the lord
please sit. I give thanks to God Almighty for the privilege to stand before you, good people of God, this morning as we celebrate the harvest of kingdom manifestation. I want to use this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation to the vicar of this church and the Adikin of Ikoyi Adikinri, the Venerable Ife Ukukpevi, for inviting me to preach at this service. And also to appreciate the wife. I pray that the glory of God will continue to radiate in your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And the anointing of God will daily rest upon you and your ministry will continually be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me also use this opportunity to thank all our fathers in God, my brothers, eminent dignitaries and clergy of this diocese. I pray that the glory of God will continue to shine upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. In this ministry, you will not labor in vain. The Lord will reward and bless your efforts in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, my greetings to your wives and family. I congratulate the Harvest Committee for your 2020 harvest. I pray that God will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. And let me thank all of you good people of God in this church noble men and women for what you are doing for the kingdom of God your labor will never go unrewarded in the name of Jesus Christ a God who is faithful in blessing those who partner with him we daily bless you and bless your children in the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We give you all the glory. Yes, Lord. We give you all the We give you all the glory. We give you all the Receive, receive all the glory. Receive, Lord, receive all the Receive, receive all the glory. Receive all the Almighty and ever faithful God, we thank you for the privilege of life and for all the benefits that comes with it. Thank you for the opportunity to celebrate your goodness as we gather together at harvest today. We are grateful to you for your faithfulness in providing and caring for us and all your creatures. As we meditate on your word, reveal your mind to us. Let your word come upon every soul like the dew of heaven to irrigate our lives, that our lives may continue to bear worthy fruits to the glory and honor of your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Our theme for this year's harvest is patterned after our theme for the year in the diocese. And so we are celebrating harvest of kingdom manifestation. Harvest of kingdom manifestation. And our text is taken from Romans chapter 8, verse 19. For the creation eagerly waits with anticipation for God's children to be revealed. Another version says, for God's children to be made manifest. Praise the Lord. Let me start by saying that the Feast of Harvest is deliberately designed by God. For us as men to acknowledge him not only as the creator of all things, but also as the giver of all things. God deliberately designed harvest for us to know that all things flow from him. In Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 10, he said, And then celebrate harvest festival to honor the Lord your God by bringing him a free will offering in proportion to the blessing he had given you. And verse 11 says, it points to the fact that it should be a joyful celebration in God's presence with members of our families, including those who are living in our homes, our maids, stewards, servants, drivers, and even foreigners living in our midst. And I don't know how many of us came this morning with our house helps and maids to celebrate and rejoice with us at this harvest. Because that is what God said. And in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, he said, The Lord, the word of God tells us that we should remember that the Lord our God he is the one who gives us ability to produce wealth. So that by the time we labor and we are successful, we should not arrogate everything to ourselves. Harvest gives us the opportunity to remember that everything comes from him. And we should honor him with what he has given us. So it is the desire of God that we should show appreciation to him and to honor him from time to time. Harvest celebration is a good occasion to honor God for his goodness because we are all beneficiaries of God's blessings, particularly in this year 2020. I want to believe that this year we should thank God specially. Because few months back, none of us can boast that by this time or on this occasion, we will be able to gather together in the house of God to celebrate harvest. Particularly with regards to what we saw happening in other nations of the world. And so as citizens of this nation and as children of God, we have every reason to be grateful to God, particularly for the gift of life, for sparing us, for delivering us, and even for blessing us. For blessing us. We are here today because God has been good to us. 
He has been faithful in keeping us. So I don't know what you have decided to do today. How you have decided to, to express your appreciation and gratitude to this almighty God who had been so good to you and I. Gratitude, they say, is an attitude. And it takes a man or a woman with a heart of gratitude to adequately appreciate God. To adequately appreciate God. It gives us the opportunity today to give thanks to God. And so, we cannot take the grace of God, the goodness of God, for granted. It is an opportunity for us today to bless the name of the Lord. And we should always remember that we are stewards of God's goodness, of God's blessing. Everything that we have is given to us by him. We are celebrating the harvest of kingdom manifestation. And there is no way we can manifest the kingdom of God if we are not going to honor him with our lives and with our resources. We cannot manifest the kingdom of God if we don't honor God with our lives and with the resources with which he has blessed us. As Christians, we are called to reveal the glory of God and the beauty of God. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. And in our text, Romans chapter 8 verse 19, it speaks of the expectation of the creation because the creation has been under curse and as a result of the fall of man the creation has been under groaning under the weight of sin and the devastating effect of sin since the fall of man creation had been in a kind of groaning because when we departed from the way of the lord in our father adam and decided to do things in our own way we fell from the glory of god and since then creation had been burdened with all manners of evil going on around the world devastating effect of sin earthquake flood pestilence diseases like COVID-19 famine and so on this has been the lot of creation and so the creation awaits the disclosure of the coming glory when everything will return to what we had in Genesis chapter 2 before the fall of man the essence of Christ's coming and the work of redemption is to restore humanity to what we were before the fall of man in Genesis chapter 2 when we had peace when the lion and man and the tigers and the scorpions and the wild animals are living together in peace and in harmony and this is going to, this is the picture of the heaven that we are talking about that a time is coming when there will be no war no more war no calamity no anxiety no fear no disease no sickness no death no tears no sorrow no affliction and so the entire creation is waiting for this glorious day the first coming of jesus christ to the world 
marks the beginning of this great restoration of the entire creation. The kingdom of God, which is the reign of Christ and dominion over sin and evil, is both now and in the future. The kingdom of God has started when Christ came. The kingdom of God is with us now. But the glorious kingdom is still in the future. When God will take dominion completely over what we have now. And as Christians, we are called to manifest this kingdom of God by upholding the culture of the kingdom. Hallelujah. You and I are called to manifest this kingdom by upholding the culture of the kingdom. If there is any time for believers to manifest the kingdom of God and upholding the lifestyle and the culture of the kingdom, it is now. Because today, there is so much godlessness. So much wickedness. So much insensitivity to human suffering. We lack godly love. In this generation. And that is why our nation is experiencing all sorts. There is so much carelessness. We've lost feelings. And today, we have the youth protesting. And I want to say that we need more of this kind of protest. Not just against police brutality, but against all forms of wickedness, and all forms of insensitivity to human suffering. We need it in our land. Maybe it will help us to begin to think right. And I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. And so in the midst of this dark cloud of uncertainty, Covering the whole world today, Christ expects us to shine as light by manifesting the kingdom of God, the Christian way of life, by manifesting the culture of the kingdom, by living right. Unfortunately, the church is fast losing the culture of the kingdom and instead of us transforming the society we are conforming to the standard of the world that Paul spoke against there is so much compromise today that there is no more significant difference between supposed citizens of the kingdom and the citizens of the world there is no difference those of us who are Christians who are politicians captains of industries heads of parastatas HODs in our educational institution civil servants and all that what have we done with the gospel of Christ what have we done with the message of salvation? What have we done with the love of God? What have we done? We have failed to match our conduct with our creed. We confess God, but our lifestyle is far from what God asked us to do. Muhammad Gandhi said, I love this your Christ. 
but I hate you Christians because you are very much unlike him. We are very much unlike Christ because we are failed. We are failed to see ourselves as ambassadors of the kingdom. Our lives and our work should be an epiphany of the new life offered by God. But today, there are no difference. We simply just close our eyes to things happening around us because of what we want to get and what we want to eat. Our Christian politicians in their houses, they have hidden their Bibles. Many of us in our offices, we are not proud to, to identify ourselves as Christians. Jesus Christ said, anyone that is ashamed of me before the world, of the world, I will be ashamed of that person before my father who is in heaven. To manifest the kingdom, we must first of all belong to the kingdom. Because you cannot manifest the kingdom you do not belong to. You cannot represent the kingdom that you are not part of. And so we must belong to this kingdom of God. By giving our lives to Jesus Christ. And living our lives according to the word of God. We must be conscious of the fact that we are pilgrims here on earth. We are foreigners. Heaven is our home. And so we should de-emphasize materialism. Few days ago, I was, I mean, few weeks ago, I was preaching in the church at 1004. And I said, in those days, growing up as a child in Benin, there is this woman that had citron. And each time the woman is about going out and start the car, all of us will come out, we will surround. We want to see how the car will rise before it will begin to move. But today, where is Citron? Where is Citron? All the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, all these things we are running after, they will one day decay and rust away. Because there is nothing here on earth that is going to be permanent, that is going to be forever. Everything is subject to change and decay. To change and decay. And that is why Jesus Christ said that we should not lay our treasures here on earth. But we should lay our treasures up there in heaven. To manifest the kingdom in our generation, we must live the life of Christ. Out of Apostle chapter 10 verse 38 says that he went about doing good. He went about doing good. And as children of God in this generation, we must go about doing good, demonstrating the love of God. If there is anything that the world needs today, is the love of God. The love of God. And the love for humanity. To manifest the kingdom, we must have dominion over sin we must have dominion over the demon of materialism and greed acquiring what we are not even able to spend we must have dominion over it because it is greed that is tearing our nation apart today 
individuals we want to take into possession what belongs to a whole state. We have forgotten that all these things will end here. An 80-year-old man that is building a living apartment, a residential house of 800 million is senseless. How many more years does an 80 man, 80 year old man has to live that is building a 800 million apartment for himself? Because by the time he dies, even the children may not want to live in that place. Everything will be taken over, maybe by lizard and crocoshes. We must match our conduct with our creed. We need complete transformation in our lives because that is the only way that we can manifest the kingdom of God. And so, as we celebrate this harvest of kingdom manifestation, we must join our hands together to expand the kingdom of God by empowering the church and by living the life of the gospel. We need to empower the church of God. We need to do more as Christians. To shine the light of the gospel in every nook and cranny of our nations and beyond. In manifesting Christ and the kingdom. We must use our time our talent and our treasure for the purpose of the kingdom. Let us use our time for the kingdom. Whatever we acquire here, like I said, we remain here. But whatever we do for God is for eternity. This occasion of harvest affords us the opportunity to lay more of our treasures in heaven. To lay more of our treasures in heaven. But adventure, you are here this morning. And you have been sowing into the church. And you feel that you are not getting the reward. I'm saying to you this morning, don't lose heart. Investing in the kingdom is not a waste of time and resources. Because whatever you give unto God, you will get back. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we do not faint. Whatever you are sowing, the harvest is coming. The harvest is coming. You will reap it, and your children will reap it. And so, if you are not reaping yet, don't give up. Because your day of harvest is coming. And maybe you have the opinion that you have been giving for years. And so now is the time for you to retire and leave all this giving to others. Maybe that are coming behind. I want you to know that there is no retirement from the service of God. As long as you are alive, as long as you are the beneficiary of God's blessings. There is need for you. To continue to give. Ecclesiastic chapter 11. Verse 6 says. Sow your seed in the morning. 
And at evening, let not your hands be idle. For you do not know which will be successful or which will succeed. And so sow your seed. If you have sown your seed in the morning, you have sown your seed at noon. In the evening time of your life, continue to sow the seed. Because it is a privilege for you to be alive. And you must be grateful to God for being alive. Today, we are gathered together to give thanks to God. And to show appreciation to him. And I want to plead with you. The Bible says that we should not appear before him empty. But I want you to remember that whatever you give, whatever you sow today, you will get back in multiple folds. Paul said, if you sow bountifully, you will reap bountifully. My prayer for every one of you is that this harvest will not be your last. Is that by this time next year, you will not be in the mortuary, neither will you be in the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember that we are to manage the resources that God has given unto us for the purpose of the kingdom so that at the end of time, God will not charge us or accuse us of mismanagement of his resources because whatever you have is God's resources and it is given for you or to you to expand the kingdom of God let us pray our father in heaven we give you thanks and praise for calling us into this kingdom we thank you Lord God for what your son Jesus Christ has achieved for us. We are grateful to you, Lord, because you have blessed us with the blessings of the kingdom. Lord, we ask that our lives will honor you always in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O oh Lord, to expand your kingdom using our time using our talent, using our resources in the name of Jesus Christ. And as your children, we give unto you today. Lord, we pray you will continue to enlarge their coast. You will not lack anything good in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the hands of God will be with your hands to prosper and to increase you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. As we take the next hymn, will have the seed of faith. Seed of faith is no more, is not more uh, new to us. It is being used in the diocese to help smaller churches, to help um, found another, uh, other churches, and at the same time to help uh, northern dioceses and other smaller dioceses. So please do something good and speak to that seed that you are holding that as you sow, it will surely bring, uh, you surely have it in, uh, 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 it will surely be bountiful for you in the name of Jesus Christ.
The Lord be with you. As we remain standing, let us reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Um, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. O Lord, guide and defend our, our leaders. And do your ministers with righteousness. O Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean our hearts within us. We collect for the 19th Sunday after Trinity and other harvest collects. O God, for as much as without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. O gracious Father, who opens your hand and fills all things living with plenteousness, bless the lands and waters and multiply the harvests of the world let your spirit go forth that it may renew the face of the earth show your loving kindness that our land may give her increase and save us from selfish use of what you have given that men and women everywhere may give you thanks through christ our lord O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble children, in all the assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. 
I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good. Today is another Sunday, the first day of the week, the day of the Lord, that you have seen this day is never by your power nor by your might, but through the grace of the living God. So bless the name of the Lord who have saved you from evil people. He has set you on the rock. Bless the name of the Lord who has given you the name that is above all other names. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow. Bless the name of the Lord for our Savior's church. The children, the youth, the elderly, the, the aged. Let's bless the name of the Lord. That you are able to sail through the period of pandemic, the period of lockdown. Bless the name of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord because you are not consumed. Bless the name of the Lord because your journey has never been hazardous nor perilous. We travel by air, by sea, by land, by rail. God is always there for us. Just rejoice in the Lord. And bring to mind, maybe something happened during last week. Thank God for those happenings. Or some happenings in your life that will have consumed your life. Bring it to memory and bless the name of the Lord for still keeping you alive. Rejoice in the Lord, the Alpha, the Omega, the only wise God, the one yesterday, today, and forever, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Joshua, the God of Moses. Just bless his holy name. He's worthy of our praise. All what we have brought today is not for him. It's for ourselves. But if we can open our mouth and say, Lord, I bless you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I glorify you. Lord, I give you all the majesty honor and adoration just open your mouth and say so to the lord and as you open your mouth in blessing the name of the lord he will surely open the door of blessings unto you as you bless the name of the lord i'm very very sure that all the walls of jericho before you will surely fall down flat I am very, very sure that all the Red Sea before you will surely dry. And I know that the desert before you, the good Lord will surely turn to a good land. Bless his holy name. Praise him. And as we are praising him, let us tell him to have mercy upon us. Our righteousness is just like a filthy rag. Just talk to him. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, if I say I have no sin, I deceive myself. Lord, have mercy upon me. I come to you like the thief on the right hand. Please, Lord, have mercy upon me. I come to you as innocent as Nicodemus. Please, Lord, have mercy upon me.
Wash me clean with the blood of your son Jesus Christ. Clothe me with righteousness. Clothe me with your spirit. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Return unto me the joy of your salvation. Bind all those parts that want to destroy your prayers. Bind all those demons that are monitoring you. Bind all those parts that want to kill, that want to maim you. Just bind them right now. Bind them with the name of Jesus. The name that is above all other names. In Jesus' precious and mighty name we have prayed. We call on three of our youths to come and pray for us briefly. One we pray concerning our parents. Another one we pray concerning the children and our youths. Another one we pray concerning our Savior's church. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Everlasting God in heaven, we thank you for a time like this in your presence. We thank you for our parents, our daddies and mommies, our guardians. Father, we thank you for all that you have preserved them for our own sake. To nurture us in your way that we, when we grow, we will not depart from it. Father, we thank you for your anointing upon their life. We pray that your anointing upon their life will not run dry in Jesus' name. Jehovah, we pray for your protection upon their life. Father, we pray that you guide them and protect them wherever they go in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you continue to provide for them as the source of our livelihood, Jehovah, continue to make way for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, O oh God, to have the joy of being a parent in our time in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for indeed you have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Um, and so, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the life of the children in this church. We want to thank you for the life of the youth in this church, in this country, Nigeria. Father, Lord, we are going through a time that nobody wants to go out from right now. But, Father, Lord, by your grace, by your mercy, may you see us through in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you for the children, O oh Lord, in this country, using our Savior's church as a point of contact. We thank you for these children because they are looking up to us. They are looking up to us to make way for them. They are looking up to us for make, to make a greater Nigeria for them. Father, Lord, may their own way never be cut short in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, may they grow, O oh Lord, to be a great people in this country. May they grow, O oh Lord, to make this country great. May they grow, O oh Lord, to do greater things, O oh Lord, in this country. And Father, Lord, may you guide and protect them. Father, Lord, they are going out and they are coming in is blessed. Whatsoever they lay their hands upon is blessed. The children of this country are blessed. These children of this country are favored. Father, Lord, they are great, greater beyond their expectation. Father, Lord, we commit them into your hands, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, as they are going to school, they are coming back. Father, Lord, may you protect them in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, whosoever they come across with, O oh Lord, may that person be a source of blessing to them in Jesus' name. And we commit their parents into your hands, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, may you uplift them and may you provide for them in Jesus' name. We, we, we commit our parents, O oh Lord, that you will give them the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to take care of us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you for the youth. We thank you for the children, O Lord. Father, Lord, may your dwelling hands be upon us in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we thank you, O Lord, for everything you've been doing in our life. We thank you, O Lord, for keeping us alive to you today, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father, for your church. We thank the Lord for the salvation of our souls. Lord, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for paying the ultimate price for our sins. Father, we pray that your church will be a glorious church in Jesus' name. Lord, pray that there will be revival in your church in Jesus' name. Pray that the Holy Spirit will empower us and strengthen us in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you strengthen us to do your will at all times in Jesus' name. Father, please help us to really be your church. Help us, Lord, to shine and win souls for you in Jesus' name. 
Father, I pray that you remove any sickness or disease from any member of your church in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you bless your church in Jesus' name. Father, help your church to grow from strength to strength and from glory to glory in Jesus' name. Father, help your church to lead, to be the head and not the tail in Jesus' name. Father, help us to always live our lives as living sacrifices unto you. Well pleasing unto you in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you grant your church great grace and favor in Jesus' name. Pray that when the world sees us, they'll see Christ in us in Jesus' name. Father, please help us to preach the gospel like never before in Jesus' name. Father, please help us to win souls like never before in Jesus' name. Father, please help us to be ready for the rapture in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you prepare us for the rapture in Jesus' name. Father, please help us to make the first flight in Jesus' name. Father, may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's bring a personal request to the throne of grace. Whatever you want the Lord to do for you, talk to God about it. He owns your present. The future is in, your, is in his hand. Talk to him. He's your father. He has not forgotten you. He's still holding you in the hollow of his palm. His eyes is still on you. Talk to him about your business, your wife, your husband, your children, your grandchildren, the journey you want to make. Talk to God about that contract, the one that you want to have, the one that you are executing. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Father, Lord, we remember those that are having their birthday today. Bless them and keep them in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself in their lives in the name of Jesus. And as they remember their natal day, Heavenly Father, no evil shall befall them. No power of Satan will come near them. And so we pray for the Harvest Committee members. We pray for your son, Sazigi, and family, and every family of the Harvest Committee. Bless them and keep them. Uphold them in all things. May no evil befall them. We pray for Mr. Olushegun and Mrs. Beatrice Olusoya. We pray for Mr. Obiora and Mrs. Michaela Amobi. We pray for the vicar and family. We pray for the curates and family. We pray for the PCC members. We pray for every member of this church. The choir, the band, and the ministries that we are having. Let your peace be upon us all in the name of Jesus. We remember those that are bereaved. Stay by them in the name of Jesus. Especially this time around, we pray for your son. Papa Sarumi, who lost the wife during last week. We pray, O oh Lord, that you stay by him and the family. Let your peace, let your joy be upon him and others that have lost their loved ones. Father Lord, we pray that you console them, you succor them. Your Holy Spirit will direct and rule them in the name of Jesus. And so we are happy. We are saying thank you, Lord, for this harvest season. Bless us beyond our imagination. Let your glory continue to shine in our lives. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for spinsters and bachelors. The right man, the right woman will come their way in the name of Jesus our children we pray for them especially that are having one, those that are having one problem or the other touch them and heal them in the name of jesus those that are pregnant 
they will deliver us safely in the name of jesus christ and so as we have come here today may we never go empty-handed in the name of jesus christ we pray for the diocese of lagos anglican communion your son we pray for our primate we pray for our archbishop Olushin of Akwe. bless them and keep them uphold them and let your peace be upon them glorify yourself in their lives in jesus precious the mighty name we have prayed we will all rise and the priest will join us at that anointing oil and we pray we join our faith together to pray together anointing fall on me anointing fall on me let the power Lord we have come to you this morning we have different types of diseases we are just getting out from one that is called COVID-19 there are epidemics here and there there are challenges here and there there are different types of diseases that are killing that are destroying lives and we are rejoicing in you because we are still alive till today it is never by our power or by our might and so i join my faith with my priests in this place we join our faith with everybody present here today and those watching us online that in the name of jesus whatever the power that want to hold you into captivity we destroy them right now in the name of jesus jesus went to calvary to make spot on all those evil paths and so for the father he went to the calvary because of you you are whole in the name of jesus you are healed in the name of jesus i invoke the power of jordan into this anointing oil Abana and Fapa were the, were the rivers of Syria. But the one that can make one whole, the one that can make one, the, the one that can heal one, is Jordan in Israel. And so we are the new Israel. And in the name of Jesus, we pray that whatever the trouble, let the power, 
that have been invoked on Jordan fall fresh upon us in the name of Jesus. Let the power of Bethesda fall fresh upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. You angels that normally come down at Bethesda, we call on you right now to come down right now in the name of Jesus. Father, you sent your son, Jesus Christ. He was molested. He was beaten. He was given a, a 30 crown because of us. He was nailed to the cross. And from his riven side came water and blood. And through this, we have been made whole. And so, let the power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, fall fresh upon this anointing oil right now in the name of Jesus. No dryness for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The dew of Hermon will be upon you. The balm of Gilead will be upon you. Receive beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that whatever you lay your hands upon as we anoint you with this oil, you will prosper. You will blossom. You will flourish. In the name of Jesus. All inexplicable diseases upon you. We say no to them in the name of Jesus. Any tumor upon you, we break that yoke right now in the name of Jesus. Any strength disease in your body, get out right now in the name of Jesus. We make the hedge around you that no evil shall befall you. All the red sea before you, we say dry in the name of Jesus. All the desert before you, we say that if we turn to a Goshen for you in the name of Jesus. And we declare your home as Goshen. No evil spirit will come there. We declare your home as Garden of Eden. You will eat and you will be filled in the name of Jesus. Angels will be there in your abode to guide and guide you 24 7 with their flaming sword in the name of Jesus. Robbers will not visit you. I say, robbers will not visit you. I am praying for you as you are hearing me in the name of Jesus. Abductors will never come near you. In the name of Jesus. Stray bullets will never touch you. In the name of Jesus. Police brutality will never be your portion. In the name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. As you travel here and there. No perils. No danger. In the name of Jesus. And as you have come to rejoice here today. On a harvest day. You will be filled with joy. You will never be cheerless. You will be happy. You will smile. You will burst into laughter. And as you go out from here. In the name of Jesus, whatever you lay your hands upon, you prosper. Yeah. Every day will be for celebration. Yeah. Every day will be for joyful things in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every day of your life will be for good tidings. Yeah. Father Lord, we say thank you. Because you have healed us. Because you have given us peace. You have given us joy. Father Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus precious name we have prayed Amen. if you have collected your envelopes just wave it and if you don't have envelope just wave your hands those online just wave your hand and so Heavenly Father out of what you have given to us we have come to give to you provide for those that have none bless the hands that have provided this from today onward you will never go bankrupt in the name of Jesus. What to eat and what to drink is being provided on the mount of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah Jireh will not leave you. Amen. Jehovah Rapha will not leave you. Amen. And all shall be well with you. Amen. Begin to wave it. Begin to wave because closed doors have been opened. The heavens have been opened and blessings of God have been, is being rested upon you. Begin to wave it and smile and rejoice. Because after this harvest, you are rejoicing. 
you will go home like the ethiopian you not rejoicing in the name of jesus thank you lord you are the ancient of days the joy of the whole earth thank you lord the father of our lord and savior jesus christ the giver of life the owner of life the one yesterday today and forever the one that will never share his glory with anybody we are rejoicing and we say thank you lord in jesus precious and mighty name we have prayed as the band members are giving as they're singing we come out and drop our offerings but we have um, offering bags there's one by the pulpit those by the pulpit side drop there those of us there please drop here those at the other side please drop there but we will come to you with the anointing oil we will drop it on your hand just rub it on any part that is aching and i am telling you as you are leaving this place today joy goodness and mercy of the lord is following you We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer, as we offer unto thee the sacrifice, seeks of thanksgiving. As we offer unto thee the sacrifice, sing song. Oh, as we offer, as we offer unto thee, unto the Lord, the sacrifice, sing song. Oh, as we offer unto thee the sacrifice, sing song. I want to be a show, a show. Oh, you are. I want to be a show, a show. Money, oh, you are. Money, I want to be a real love, a real we give you praise, Lord. There is no like you. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. We give you praise. Mama again. Mama again. Chile again. Mama again. Those upstairs, please come.
Thank you, Jesus. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one, oh, you walked upon the sea of the rest of that. You ran in majesty, you ran in majesty. Oh, mighty one, everything you're yeah. Great, say that you are great. Tell him, oh, yes, you are great, Lord. Say, oh, you are great. Break it down, break it down, break it down. It is your envelopes, not, not, um, harvest thanksgiving, please. The envelopes that we are having, don't worry, you have another one. Don't worry, since I was born, but now I am getting older. What's 
anointed against bad weather Amen. you are being anointed against death Amen. you are being anointed against COVID-19 you are being anointed against any challenge that will come and beset you in the name of Jesus Amen. you are being anointed against fire incidents in the name of Jesus you are being anointed against different types of tumors and problems in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And your finances will grow. Your wealth will grow. And you have peace to spend. Thank you, Lord. The grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now forevermore. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. We want to say thank you very, very much to Venerable John Agboro, the vicar of... You will still do better than that. The vicar of Church of the Resurrection 1004 Estate and the Archdeacon of Victoria Island Abdikinri. He is my successor and at the same time he is my in-law. Can you put your hands together? God bless you, sir. You are welcome. Please greet everybody and greet mommy. Mr. Harvest, Mr. Harvest, you answer me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Please come over, sir. <laughs> Can we put our hands together? Please do it better. Please do it better. Hallelujah. Mrs. Um, Ziki, Azike, please come and join your husband here. Because both of you are in that business together. <laughs> God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Band. The steadfast love of God. Now, band, give it. The steadfast love of of the Lord never ceases. His mercy is never cold to an end. They are new, they are new. Always, always. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Jump. His mercy is there, come to an end. They are new and 
every morning, always in every morning, always where is thy faithfulness? Oh Lord, where is thy faithfulness? When you run away, I need a whole new Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Savior's church, whether you like it or not. Amen. Amen. Bless people. Amen. Umuchinake. Umuchinake. Aumojesu. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Agaragara. Praise the Lord. Agaragara. Praise the Lord. Amen. For those of our brothers, strong ball, praise the Lord. Omi Baker Maki Jesu Boshen Wee. Can my share Boshen Wee? Can my Shafari see Bugway? Can my Shako see Bugway? Because is the fullness of the joy of the Lord. And it is awesome. It is awesome. How pleasant it is to see the brethren gather this way. Like the preacher said, it is only by God's grace and mercy that we are here celebrating harvest. A lot of churches already wrote harvest off in their calendar, particularly those of them in the cities, except those in the villages who eventually have harvest in December. But most of the city churches had given up. But by his mercy, his grace, and his love, and his abundant favor, we are here today. And the harvest is turning up to be so successful beyond even our own expectations. And we actually almost have a full hall. The auditorium is full. Upstairs is... There are more people upstairs than probably downstairs. So thank you all for coming. Because harvest is a physical thing. There is, there are some things that you must do personally. You must go to the farm to collect your fruits. So it is something that you must do physically. And I'm happy that the church has gathered as one today to celebrate our harvest. Usually in our harvest, we have, in adult harvest, we have three functionaries. The chairman of the harvest, the parents of the day, and the cake on Vela. Interestingly, you know, the Bible tells us that the first shall be the last, and the last day first. The race does not go to the swiftest, but everything depends on the grace of God. Today's harvest, our So today, our chairman is caught up somewhere in between Popopo and Port Harcourt and Lagos. So he has sent a message to us. He's not here. But celebration goes on. I was to call the chairman and his supporters, but I'm going to put that off till the last. Because there are some people here who are ready to celebrate in a very big way. Our parents of the day sent their huge check, a big seven-figure check, before today. 
Again, they are not physically present, but I'm going to represent them as their representative. So I will invite Princess. Princess, where are you? Or Miss um, Ize? Ize Matabese, please come. You bring the garland and put on my neck. It's, it's, here, on my, it's on my chair. It's on my chair. As representing the father of the, the parents of the day. My wife and I are going to play that role. What my wife is wearing is the garland for parents of the day. So, is a bring my own because I'm going to change my role now to be the one of the parents of the day as your representative. Thank you. You see? Chine kene mego kwa wo mwenye zeke. So, from ordinary ziki. I am now a parent of the day. So you see, I've been promoted. So we thank God for that elevation. So the first person we are receiving now is going to be parents of the day and his supporters. Everybody in this church, those who the parents of the day are, Mr. and Mrs. Shego Lusoya, please can you put your hands together for them? That family is one of the best families in this church. There's hardly any harvest season they don't feature. Play one role or the other. Thank you. So, Baba Lusanya, I know you must be watching now. Don't worry, I'll arrange for them to bring your bouquet to you because you have paid for it. <laughs> I'll also arrange for them to bring your basket of fruits to you and also your plaque for you in the house. So I'm not going to take any of your goodies home except this one. Okay, I'll arrange for them to bring this one for you too. So God bless you as you watch at home. Mr. and Mrs. Luzon, God bless you and your family. And we praise you and commend you and appreciate you. Now, please, can you put the, this in the present here? Yeah. Please, now, Ban, give us something for the, all the supporters of the parents of the day, all the people who, who support Mr. and Mr. Luzon, if they right here, please come with your support now, please. Ban. Lord, Thank you. you are so good. Blessed be your name. Lord, you are so good. Oh, blessed be your name. In heaven, you are the Lord. On earth, you reign forever. Oh, Lord, I wait Oh, oh, blessed be your In heaven, you are the Lord God. All the supporters of Paul Lusoya, this time is Lusoya. We give you praise, Jesus. Oh, we give 
praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. And now we have come to the ultimate part of this show. Because this is a show to celebrate God. His goodness in our lives. Something spectacular happened to the Harvest Committee on Friday. This Friday, by about 7.30 a.m. The chairman of the Harvest Committee received a phone call from a member of this church, who is also present here now. And when, I, when, he, when he called me, I picked the call, and he said, have you got, he hailed me, because he's my friend, he hailed me, and I, and I hailed him back. Then he said, have you got somebody to be chairman for your next year's adult harvest? I said, no. He said, well, that God has been speaking to him all through the night and that he's going to be the chairman of that harvest. And you know what? He added, he said, and it will be big. He said, and it will be big. I'm quoting him. And he's not a new person to the church. He's somebody who is very well known in this church, who is established in the diocese. That just shows you how God works. Why I, I recall this is because that is also how the next person I'm going to call came and approached me about this time last year. He approached me at the field where we were having a love feast for one of the harvests. And he said, Uncle Ziggy, I want to be a part of this. Give me a role next year. And he prayed like Jabez that the Lord should expand his coast. Because when you make yourself available this way, every member of the Harvest Committee and the church will be praying for you. You can imagine the type of power that God will give you if the committee is praying for you for one year. Like we are, going to be, we are praying for the person who has offered himself to be chairman of the adult harvest. The vicar is praying for him. The priest is praying for him. All the church will be praying for him. It will be an impactful year in his life in Jesus' name. And for the same reason, God chose to specially bless my friend, my younger brother, a remarkable young man from a remarkable community. In fact, I'm going to be in Ogidi on the 22nd, Fraser Louis funeral. Because people from Ogidi are special people. My experience with the Ogidi people is that they are generous, they are kind, and they are loving, and they are peaceful, and they are prosperous. And this prince of Ogidi, who offered himself to play a role in our church in today's harvest, I did approach him, he approached us, and you will see what will happen today. Praise the Lord! It is my joy and pleasure to invite our Kwe Convela, Prince Obiora Amobi, and his lovely wife, Michaela. Thank you, Jesus. I want to be a woman. I want to be I want to be a woman. I want to be I Apa ki 
Amen. I'll invite all his supporters to join us on stage, please. All the supporters of Prince Obi Oramobi. Walking to his table to bring something to his seat to bring something is is um, Obiora's older brother. He flew in from England just to be here today. So it's a family celebration. So Obiora will say something to us. Our saviors, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Um, today is indeed a special day for us. And um, we are greatly honored to be here against all odds. Because um, 2020 has been a challenging year for a lot of people. At some point, we are not sure if this was going to take place. But to the glory of God, we are here today. I want to personally thank, on behalf of my wife and my family, the vicar of this church, for accepting us to play this very sensitive role, and uh, as well as the other members of the clergy, and the chairman of the Harvest Committee, my big brother Ziggy. Thank you so much. Yes, in actual fact, this time last year, about this time, during the harvest, I approached him to say I wanted to play a role. Usually during uh, Sunday service, we sit upstairs, myself and my wife, and um, I've I'd, I'd been observing the proceedings, and I kept on saying to myself, what can we do, or when can we do it? So during the harvest last year, I just got this conviction, and I approached him and I said, I want to play a role. At the time, my wife was out of the country. I hadn't consulted her, but I took that decision. 
And um, I want to say that during the period, it was a trying time for us. We had all sorts of challenges. Our daughter was unwell, had to undergo surgery. Um, my sister-in-law was unwell. And, um, you know, sadly, eventually we lost her. But during that period, I couldn't, you know, communicate to my wife. So months later, when they returned, my family, I called my wife and I said, this is what I decided to do. How? She asked, how are you going to do that? I said, well, God will make a way. And um, amazingly, you look back one year, and it was as if one had all the time to plan and take everything, you know, put everything in place. But alas, COVID came, the lockdown, and uh, at some point, we were not sure if this was going to, you know, take place. After COVID, you know, or during the period, I was in touch with uh, the chairman of the Harvest Committee, and I kept asking, Sazigi, is this thing going to hold? He said, well, just hold on. We need to confirm from the VICA and so on. Subsequently, it was confirmed that there was, it was going to take place, and uh, we started preparing. But then, how do you approach people during this lockdown and all that to start asking for support? I know people who said, Harvest, is your church okay? And they seeing what is going on? You know? But you see, our God is a God of all seasons. Amen. Whether there is lockdown or COVID or whatever, our God is a God of all seasons. And we are grateful to him, you know, for seeing us through. It's been, you know, challenging, I must say. Now, after COVID, the recent one is, uh, what do you call it? And SARS. Now, during that period, you know, my brother here lost his mother-in-law. She was scheduled to be buried just before the lockdown. The lockdown came up. It had to be postponed. And then um, for several months, she was, you know, kept in the morgue until eventually the lockdown was lifted. Then the travel restrictions, because she, was, she died in the UK, in London. But um, eventually, you know, the clearance was gotten. She was brought back. A date was fixed for the funeral. And uh, I said to everybody, I said, well, I had already given my commitment to the church. How are we going to do it? But to the gl glory of God, the event was yesterday, two days ago. And against all odds, you know, well, there are just two of us. I, point of correction, I happen to be the older. Our parents are no more. I had to lead the delegation to Ovim. So arrangements were made, tickets and all, the logistics in the east, security and all that, and we went. And I kept on saying that whatever happens, we must be back in Lagos yesterday against all odds we must be back in lagos mysteriously something happened on getting to the airport we were checked in did everything we needed to do for some strange reason on getting there just under one hour to departure they said the manifest had been closed and they couldn't get us on so i was trying to get the station manager to confirm that this was true we're not going to fly I had the driver stand by. I said, if we can't fly, we'll hit the road. We must be in Lagos at all costs. <laughs> then I started getting calls. That going by road is a no-no. They're protesting in Ondo. They're protesting all over the place. We're not sure of the bridgehead and all that. I said, we must leave Enugu today. This was yesterday. But to the glory of God, whilst all this was going on, we remained calm. And the next thing I just, you know, the next counter, there was this other airline. I've never flown them before. I acquired Boom Air, or Boom Air, whatever it is. So I approached the manager and said, look, can you take us to Lagos? Even if it means paying first class or business class or whatever, we have to leave. He said, oh, yes. Are you sure the flight is coming? He said, yes. Are you sure? He said, yes. And then quickly we made payment. And true to the word, they kept the time. Roughly under one hour or two hours, the aircraft was on ground, got on smooth flight,
dropped down in Lagos, cleared our luggage, <laughs> left the airport. Now, before we left Lagos, uh, left Enugu, the first information we got was that Lagos is under siege, that they've locked the airport, that the protesters have taken over the whole place. So we're preparing to get home maybe 12 midnight, or even if we had to, yeah, somebody said so, even if we had to walk, because uh, we had to be here this morning for 9 o'clock. But to the glory of God, on arrival, Lagos was peaceful. We cleared with the airport, left. We, in fact, before we took off, we had to do, use Google Maps to check the best route. And, uh, you know, Bank Anthony, Ikorodu Road, and so on, and it was free. And we kept asking ourselves, is this Lagos? Where is everybody? Maybe the protesters are, uh, you know, on break or something. So we came on to the island, each free, did one or two stops, and then um, eventually got, to home, uh, got home, you know, later on and started preparing for today. Now, this morning, heavy rain. Around like a very heavy rain. And in my mind, I said, I can imagine the church environment with rain and all that. Maybe we should have got uh, the rainmakers from Ogidi. <laughs> anyway, so to the glory of God, on getting here, approaching the church, the rain has subsided. Looking out through the windows, it's bright and sunny. Yes, we're talking about supporters. This is not... With due regards, thank you for everybody here, but, you know, we had a mind to fill this whole place up. You know, but people kept calling. In fact, this morning I got a message with the madness going on, sorry we can't make it. People didn't know. A lot of people are not aware that, you know, the roads are a bit free. But um, I want to appeal to the vicar and the chairman of the Harvest Committee, on behalf of my wife and my family, I want to request that this cake unveiling ceremony be extended. What I mean is that I would appreciate if it can be open-ended until I hand over to the next person so that we keep on unveiling that cake till I hand over to the next person. Because, you know, there's a saying that what is what doing is what doing well. So, um, I thank all of you. I thank the supporters, I thank members of the congregation in church, I thank uh, my family, my friends, and um, of course my brother here. It's not the first time though. Sometimes, you know, when I have serious engagements and I'm talking to him, I'm telling him, look, this is what it is, uh, okay, make with a loop. And then the next thing, he arrives. So, he, you know, he's supposed to be flying out tonight, but um, he insisted, or is it tomorrow? Well, he insisted on, you know, coming here to be with us and has lended his support. I want to say also that, you know, we got married in this church. How many years ago? <laughs> anyway, and um, he was my best man. And uh, he continues to be my best man. Our mother used to say it's not by the quantity, but the quality. So this is my, one of my very strong supporters, and his being by me is like my rock, you know, through thick and thin. So we thank God, and um, uh, we continue to pray for the church. It is the members that will build the church. I want to seize this medium to appeal to people. You don't sit and wait to be called upon. I heard about... People are approached and, you know, they say they're not available or they're too busy and all that. Nobody should be too busy for God's work. Um, I wouldn't take too much more time, but, um, you know, my, 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 my conviction is from personal experiences I've had. God has been faithful. God has been kind. And the kind of things that have happened, you know, in recent times is only by the grace of God. I was attacked by armed robbers on two occasions. The first time, I was shot at close range. The pellets are still in my left arm. And um, you know, it was an attempted carjacking. In fact, the police eventually felt it was an assassination attempt. 
But uh, fortunately, you know, the pellets only, uh, you know, they didn't penetrate like my neck or my heart, my lungs or whatever. I went to the UK for, you know, checkup. Fortunately, I was cleared. I gave testimony in this church some time ago. Subsequently, I had another attack. Coming from um, Ajawa State one evening, arm robbers blocked the road. Somebody came, and I could hear some guy saying, get down, get down. But somehow, I don't know how, you know, I looked at him, and I said, when he approached me, I said, get out. I don't know where I got that, uh, you know, courage. And I shouted, I said, get out. So the man was surprised. You know, I reversed my car and, you know, left the scene. So, so many things have happened, and I believe that by the grace of God, I have a calling. So whatever it is, I pray that, you know, it will be possible to show more gratitude and I'm committed to the work of God in this place and wherever I, I go. And um, I want to thank God and thank you all for this opportunity. Ben. What a marvelous God. Marvelous God. Ben. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, He has done marvelous things for me. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous, He used to do marvelous things for me. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, He has done marvelous things for me. The things that money cannot buy, they are the things that he has done from you. Hello, please don't leave the church yet. We have food for everybody, and those who, are, those who are in charge of the food for me, please make sure you are stationed for people who are going. But don't go, you haven't done your harvest yet. And Vika, you know, this harvest money, the offering money that you got earlier was harvest money, so you put it in harvest. Because you didn't announce until people started dropping their money. So you mix the things. So please, harvest. This is our adult harvest. And please, um, you, go, you come as, as you normally come. And we drop our harvest these things. Band, endless music. We just do it row by row. You make me want 
E as dançamos for me I cannot tell it all
Taking, I assure you the luncheon you are going to take home will be well worth it. I'm telling you the truth. 
Take my word for it. Now, we are doing presentations. Usually, where is the plaque? Huh? Well, um, I've been disturbed by Ms. Eze, Eze Matabese about those who wish to support the chairman. This is part of the chairman's support. Okay, my, my wife is supporting the chairman. And a lot of people have been supporting the chairman. Uh, so please, don't all those who have things to support the chairman, please. Your gift will not go in vain in Jesus' name. Add it to our own. So let's do presentations now. Um, the plaque. And please, after the, after the church service, we're going to have the quick unveiling ceremony at the West um, Door um, Pavilion. So please, wait a bit. You can, your luncheon is well packaged with everything, so you can actually do a kind of picnic in the church compound while you are... Music will be playing too, so just know that we have a package for you. Music will be playing, so excuse me that is allowed outside there. And you dance, you eat, you just feel merry. merry. Um, luckily, God gave us a very clement weather as usual. So the environment for vitamin D, which is even the one that chases away COVID, is available outside there. The sun is there to ensure that vitamin D helps us to chase away COVID-19 in Jesus' name. Now, the presentation. I want to appreciate our Mama Yad, who is not here today, because they are doing women conference. She has helped us, even while she was away, she put things in place in a way that, in a way that um, ensures that everything moves well. I will invite somebody who was also Mama Yad here before to come and make the presentation. Now I have the pleasure to invite my mommy, my special mommy, Ms. Akiola, to come and do the presentation of the plaque. Who has the Bible? Yeah, she'll present the Bible. Bring the Bible. No, don't worry. Let Mark allow to present the Bible. Give it to her. Mama Akiola will present the Bible. She made a first class in Yuri Lag in those days. First class. I think mommy, mommy made a first class. A first class in university in those days. When only several first class. In one graduating year, you just get about five or six first classes. She made one of them. Please put your hands together for her. So mommy, you have to present the Bible to them, and nobody will tell you what to say. And even I was uh, sorry. You think it was no, no, it, it, it. Um, I wanted to say something to you before. I never knew I was going to come and present this, and all the things you have been going through and you have been passing through is because you have always been putting God first. Continue to do that. You can see as we are talking, as we are talking, as we are talking, I was nodding my head. It's because God is with you. Please continue to put God first in everything you do. Ask him the step you, he will want you to take before you take the step. You can see the way you got here today. It's his it's, it's grace. It's, it's his glory in your life. And that glory will continue to shine. His grace will continue to multiply in your life, but continue to do God's will. God bless you. And I thank your brother who came from uh, UK too. God will take him back safely in the name of Jesus. So on behalf of uh, the vicar, the church, the harvest committee, I present this to you. I don't need to tell you what you are going to do with this. You know already. God bless you. God be with you. God will continue to make you one in Jesus' mighty name.
Thank you, Mama Kiola. Well, um, elders will always be here, and elders will never lack here. Mama was 81 just last week. So, the next is the presentation of the plaque. And um, well, I, oh, Papa Akiola, you think you will come and go, 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 go like that? Please come and present a plaque to, to them. Papa was the vicar here when I got married. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Mr. Ubiora and Mrs. Mchada were a movie. Your tremendous role as cake convenors on the occasion of year 2020 adult harvest, given this 18th day of October 2020 by our Savior's Church TBS. I want to join my wife in what she has already told you. God is with you. God still has a plan and a purpose for you. That is why you, God has been protecting you. If not, you will have gone. And so because of what has in store for you, continue to glorify God and serve him more and more. Any opportunity, just as you have said, serve him. Whatever you have that God has given to you, serve him with God, for, to use it for God. And God will bless you. The more you spend for God, the more God will bless you in Jesus' name. So, on behalf of the vicar and um, the clergy and uh, the chairman harvest committee and the harvest committee and the whole church, I present you this. Is God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we are coming to the end of the ceremony. We have the, the, the things for the parents of the day will be delivered to them at home. I don't want to spend more, more time receiving it on their behalf since um, we already know who they are and for the chairman too. So, now, band, give us something to use and go and take this to the altar. Bring it, give it to my wife. The fruits are here. The fruits are here. Um, Vika. Vika, Vika and the clergy will join us. No, no, hold no, hold. I think. Vika. The clergy, please come and join us for a photograph. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord, glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord, glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. Oh, you are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Say you are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Oh, you are good, and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You let us pray. Our most high God, we are grateful unto you. This is the day you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, God, for today because this is your doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. For sparing the lives of your son and daughter and all of us together, the chairpersons of this harvest, the coordinators, the harvest committee chairman, and the members the vicar and all of us together as a church we are grateful unto you 
We thank you because it is indeed of your mercies that we are not consumed. Father, we return this glory to you. And we say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have seen us this far. We ask God, you will never forsake us in the name of Jesus. We are praying, O oh God, that we will not also forsake you in the name of Jesus. We have brought our offerings all together. And we ask, O oh God, you will bless us and bless our offerings in the name of Jesus. We are celebrating this year's service. If Jesus tarries, next year we will be better, greater, and stronger than this in the name of Jesus. Our families, Lord, will be more beautiful and more prosperous than this in the name of Jesus. Against all odds, Lord, you will protect us. You will provide for us. You will take care of us. Our destinies will never be aborted. For your children who have appeared before you today, unveiling the cake, we ask that God Almighty will take care of you in the name of Jesus. No evil will be for you in the name of Jesus. And for all of our people who are also represented here, we declare, as we have accepted to give thanks and to lift up your offering unto the Lord, the Lord will lift you up in the name of Jesus. I prophesy unto your lives, everywhere you are reigning presently, I declare you will never be humiliated. Everywhere you are trusting God for lifting, He will lift you up there. Whatever the challenges of life that you may be going through, I ask the Lord on your behalf, He will surmount them before you in the name of Jesus. We have all been anointed today and we declare the glory of God will continue to radiate over our lives. Thank you, ever living God. For all of us together again, we ask, Your name will be glorified in our lives. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and we say, It is well with us. Blessed be the name of the living God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you, Vika. Thank you, Vika. And thank you for all your support. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory, honor, and adoration be unto the ever-living God, the one who reigns yesterday, today, and forever. May his holy name be praised in Jesus' name. We welcome each and every one of us to this service. We pray that the good Lord will not leave you nor forsake you in Jesus' name. Those that are worshiping with us for the first time, God bless you in Jesus' name. Those that are having their birthday today, or who had theirs during last week, God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. We give glory to God for today. I want to say thank you to Sazigi and the wife, the Harvest Committee members, uh, the Yorubas normally say, Okuni tonsunrara fokuni akoshe lunshe. That is, a man that is standing in the gap for another man is doing a splendid job. So, God will bless you and your members in the name of Jesus Christ. We are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful. Also, to the main code, sorry, to the parents of the day, Mama and Papa Lusoya, we are grateful. And um, for the cake on Vela, Mr. Obiora and Mrs. Amobi, we are grateful to you. All those troubles that you have gone through, they will never come back. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will live your life in safety, in peace, in serenity, in tranquility, in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. We are grateful. God will replenish your purse in Jesus' name. I've been telling you that um, Canon Popola and family had been transferred from here. By the grace of God, November 1, they have their valedictory service. I mean, that valedictory sermon by the grace of God. Membership form, kindly see the uh, Guild of Stewards to collect one. Confirmation class, we are still on it. And the confirmation service is coming up on November 15, 
by the grace of God. And uh, there will be baptism on Saturday, 24th October by 10 a.m. After that, there will be confirmation class by 11. Online prayer conference every Saturday, 5.30 a.m. Clergy welfare. We are calling on you to do something for the clergy better than that of last year. So we pray that the good Lord will provide all your needs according to his riches and glory in Jesus' name. Family Thanksgiving, um, please let us have your date on time. The youths, God bless you all. Sunday school children, God bless you all. The choir, the band, Mr. Ognist, thank you very, very much. My co-clergy, God bless you. I want to say thank you to Papa and Mama Kionla. We <laughs> we've given you a duty to perform today. Thank you very, very much. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Premarital online counseling. Kindly check page 10, item 12. Women conference is still on. They will be back today. The clergy wives and women of the church, they are at Faith Plaza. And uh, by the grace of God, maybe by three or four, the program will be over. And we have our wives back. Thank you very much. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Sacrifice subscription. Please collect card from the uh, Mama Yards. They will give you one. Please help the work of the women to grow. Delight International School. Please check page 16, item, item 11, page. Sorry. Item 16, page 11. Entrepreneurship. We are asking for. Uh, please um, entrepreneurship if you are interested let us have your proposal kindly check page 11 item 17 altar service training those that are interested see any of the priests annual general meeting of Sasoga Lagos please I don't know the meaning of the acronym but those who knows it you know it annual general meeting of Sasoga page 11 item 19 we announce the home call of late Mr. Robert Asoha, the father of our dear brother, Mr. Temple Robert. Is he here? Mr. Temple, one of the choir members. Okay, the father died. He's now a fatherless. God will stay by you, and God will uphold you in Jesus' name. So when it is time, we have the funeral arrangement. Also, we commiserate with Mr. Edoze Noruka who lost his wife, Precious Noruka, age 32. And by the grace of God, Friday, 6th November, uh, we start, I mean, 29th, Thursday, 29th October, we'll be having a service of song at Zuru Liri. Community hymn singing, please, uh, we want you to sponsor it. And to avoid rush, please come and uh, book just see any of the priests or see me or see Uncle Mike. God will bless you and keep you all in Jesus' name. With the hope of resurrection, we announce the demise of Mama Sarumi. Mama Sarumi died on Thursday. We pray that the good Lord will stay by um, our daddy, Chief Sarumi and the family in the name of jesus christ and we pray that untimely death will not come to us anymore in jesus name sazigi has something to say concerning rice soup very plenty church um, just this um just some arrangement about the food um so that I want to assure you that we have enough food for everybody. So just quietly step out, you'll get your food. But the following groups of people should not bother to go there. All the food, all the food is being served at this entrance uh, exit, at, at that exit. The following group of people should not bother because their food has been kept, kept apart for them and set apart for them. The choir and the organist, the guild of stewards, 
the praise band, the sextings, the cleaners, the security, the media team, the admin and accounts people, the drivers. So please, if you belong to any of these groups, including the harvest committee that I've called, you don't have to bother to ask for your food there. We have provided for you and it is set apart. So it will never finish. There's enough for everybody. So please, as you exit, you, you pick up your pack of food. And may God bless us as we enjoy it in Jesus' name. Thank you. November 22, that's when we have the children and young people harvest. Let us bear that in mind. November 2 is an All Souls Day. There's going to be a memorial service for our departed loved ones. Let us have... Church, uh, please prepare for next Sunday. This is harvest season. Next Sunday, we are having our women harvest. Our women harvest is next Sunday. So all the women in the church, is your Sunday next week. Uh, Yanimura. Next Sunday is the Yanimura Sunday. Next Sunday is Nemez Mama Sunday. So please, all of you who have mothers, who have had mothers, make sure you come tomorrow on Sunday to come and celebrate them. If anybody who has ever had a mother, don't bother to come if you have not had a mother. But everybody who has had a mother, your opportunity of honoring her is on Sunday. And on Sunday, the coordinators for the um, harvest are very big members of our church. Big members. So there's only like disappointment. And they have been circulating for support, mobilizing. And it's in fact the clan. So please, come on Sunday, 25th of October for our women harvest. God bless you as you come. Children and men should support the mothers. Come next Sunday, 9 a.m. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thanks a lot for your patience. We are grateful to you all. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no man evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all men. Love all men. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always.